here's a way you could approach it, right? Um, just in case you need to understand the question, they tell you they're filling up like a pool or something, right? Yeah. Filling up large, some large container. This is the number of pipes that are feeding in, and using that number of pipes, this is how long it takes, okay? So it clearly looks like it's a comparison of rates, right? It's a comparison of rates. And usually, usually, for example, if I say, let's, let's do a, a different question. If I say, oh, it takes me three hours to go 100 kilometers in my car, okay? Because there's some really bad traffic, okay? Then you'd say, well, you know, what if I went for twice as long and I went for six hours? Well, it's reasonable then to say, oh, I will travel twice as far, right? So you apply your normal sort of rates thinking, you multiply both by two, everything's happy, okay? Then you come to this question. Now, I'm gonna do the wrong way first. When you add the eight extra pipes, how many pipes are there now in total? There are 20 pipes now. Okay. Now, if you apply this kind of logic, right, this is like more time, more kilometers. So when you look over here, it doesn't seem that crazy to think more pipes equals... Well, now, let's think about this, right? Now, here, here's where the answer has gone, right? How do you turn 12 into 20? What do you multiply 12 by to turn it into 20? 1.5? Really? I think, I think it's 5 thirds. I think it's 5 thirds. 5 over 3. 5 over 3. Shh, stay with me, you're 11. So what the solution has done, essentially, has said, well, okay, I'll just multiply this by 5 thirds, and therefore I guess I'd multiply this by 5 thirds. I should put times there. Okay. Uh, now, 5 thirds, that's uh, going to be 40 over 3, which I think is 13 and a third. Okay, 13 hours, 20 minutes, right? But of course, because I've put it in comparison to this, you can immediately see something has gone wrong. Namely? Yeah, it's like, why wait, is why is this taking longer when you've got more, it's like, it's like the law of group work, the more people you add, the less work the group does, okay? Um, this is clearly flawed, okay, this is clearly flawed, so this can't be the answer, this can't be the answer. So this is not just as easy as like, oh, I just multiply through, okay? So being that we know what the answer isn't, how do we actually go about this? Well. Now I'd like you, if you've got your own paper there, to pick up your pen and I want you to think about this with me. You remember we said, okay, there's going to be 20 water pipes in total. That's what I'm interested in. Okay? That's a bit of a funny, kind of finicky number to work with. So before I actually solve that question, I'm just going to simplify it a bit. Suppose I had 24. Right? This is exactly the situation I gave you over here. Like, I'm doubling something, right? So you got double the pipes, so you don't even need to do any calculations really. How long is it going to take to fill up the pool? Four hours. It'll take four hours. Now pause for a second. Where did you get that number from? Don't, don't just shout an answer out. Tell me where you get this answer from on the basis of the numbers I already have here. And times 12 by 2, so therefore you divide 8 by 2. Okay, so when you've got more pipes, right, twice as many, if you want to think about it this way, What's happening in here is it fills up twice as fast. So that's why this takes half the time. Does that make sense? Yeah. See what we've done? Okay, so we actually have a fancy word for this. This is called um, an inverse proportion. So as something gets bigger, something else gets smaller. Okay, so that's a very simple example. Very, very simple because doubling is easy. So now we're ready to answer our actual question. Okay. Now this is not just neatly double, it's not even neatly one and a half. But you told me before, when we were doing the question wrong, that to get from here to here, you should multiply by five thirds. You remember that? Yeah. Multiply by five thirds. Okay. So therefore, over here, we saw, oh, multiply by five thirds, that's not going to give you the right time, you'll get more time. But just like from here to here, you multiply by two, here to here, you divide by two. Right? So I'm going to be five thirds faster than when I was here before. <laughs> so therefore, this should be eight divided by five thirds. Okay. Now, when you throw it into your calculator, because I don't expect any of you um, will do that, you'll get 4.8 hours. Now, just pause for a moment. Based on what we've looked at, does that intuition make sense? Yeah. Well, number one, it's quicker. Oh, it's quicker. 
And number two, oh, of course, it has to be a bit over four hours, because to get to four yeah. hours, you'd need twice as many pints. You don't quite have that much. Okay. Now, one last thing to finish. That, that's basically the answer. I'd be happy with that. That's quite a lot of thinking to get there. Um, however, we don't usually say, oh, yes, that'll take 3.2 hours, okay, or 4.8 hours. We don't usually put them in decimal. So thankfully, your calculator has a button exactly for this. You're just used to seeing it with angles. This just breaks things up into chunks of 60 and then chunks of 60 again, minutes and seconds. So if you have this on your calculator screen and you just hit that button, it's going to tell you this. Whoops. That's a good question. Which is four hours and 48 minutes. Okay.